guys, welcome back to my video. I have tea. I haven't drank tea in a little bit. Also some chips. Um, but I deserve them. Basically, I didn't ask for them. And they're like tiny. There's those like smallest pack of Cheetos you can get. Literally the size of my hand. Um, but yeah, today I had a really good day. Um, besides the fact that I had a French test. But honestly, that went well, so it was a good day. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm in a good mood. Um, I did a 45 minute walk today instead of a bike. And so I walked uh, to the mall and I bought some canvases and paint and then I came back. And it's the first time I've ever done that. And honestly, I think that I, in the last almost four weeks have gotten so much more adultish like before i don't think i ever left the house by myself but now i'm literally walking all the way to the mall buying stuff and coming back and i think that maybe i can convince my parents to let me do it more often um maybe not the buying part like maybe i'll be like hey can i go to watch a movie or something um because yeah it's just it was really cool anyways let's get started talking more at the end of the video Lila Rosie Learns a Lesson, Part 5, A Miraculous Ladybug Fan Fiction Adrian Agress laid in his all-too-big king-sized bed. You'd think he'd be comfortable with the million pillows, the fresh sheets, and a premium mattress, but in reality, he was anything but. His head was spinning, and he, he had found her, and she told him to leave as if he was not guarded by ancient magic, and she clearly meant to imply that it was dangerous. But what about her? And she was meant to rule these people. They sure had a funny way of asking. And he groaned. He just wanted to sleep and continue thinking the next day. But no, his brain would just not shut off. That look she gave him was haunting him. The tense stance, the lack of trust, the lack of warmth, and the cold eyes, the hardened features. It was simply not who he knew. Maya placed another red herring on the ground. She had been doing it every night, making countless trails that would lead her group nowhere, only proving to be a distraction. It was exhausting, but very necessary. These people were not friendly, and they took no prisoners. prisoners. They were not merciful nor forgiving, and she was not about to face her parents. They were horrid. Their expectations, the glares, their lack of emotion, lack of love, and she barely considered them human. She went home and stitched her side. One of the assassins had caught her side with a blade. Home was an abandoned warehouse. She had installed tech all over the area to alert her if anyone dangerous was near. She sat on, her sofa, on the sofa with a bowl of instant noodles and turned it on the TV, instantly staring back at a picture of Marinette. Notice how she referred to Marinette in third person. That's because she was Maya again. That was it. Marinette was buried deep down. If she wasn't, survival would be near impossible. She needed that cold, that ice, those walls. She needed them. The shadow strikes again. Another gang of unknown ninja-like people were discovered unconscious in an alleyway tonight. It leaves me to wonder if my niece figure is gone. Marinette used to be the babysitter, to, uh, used to babysit my daughter. But is that girl gone? And if so, is it temporary or something more permanent? This is Nadia Shamak signing off. Marinette clicked off her TV. I don't know, was all Maya could say. She retired into her, she retired into a light sleep for the night. She couldn't afford to let her guard down. If that meant going, if that meant getting little rest, little real rest, living on instant noodles, Keeping in an abandoned warehouse, so be it. She beat them once. She would do it again. And that's the end of this one. So a lot of Rosie Learns Lesson is a very popular one at the moment, and I'm very glad to hear that. It's great that a lot of people like it. Um, so yeah, I'll continue the series for sure. I really enjoy the series. And luckily a lot of people do as well. Um, sorry I didn't post yesterday. If you didn't watch the video, which a lot of people didn't, and I know that, I understand that. I don't think I would have watched that video if I was a sub or 
subscriber. Um, basically, I was just saying that I don't have, I'm not in the mood to post because I know that would annoy some people, but I really just didn't have the energy to do it. And and a lot of my subscribers do tell me to take a break and stuff, which you guys have no idea how much I appreciate that because that is, it feels so good to have that like, yeah, take a break if you need it. Having that people say that is just like. Oh, it's another level. You guys still understand. Um, that. Okay. Um, in other news, yesterday, I got a new chair, a new desk strip, which is what I'm sitting on right now. And yeah, I'm. I've never been more comfortable at my desk. This chair is so much better than my last one. Uh, it's a lot more expensive, and a lot more grown up, but so much better. It like, it has more settings. Like you can adjust so many things with this chair. You can adjust how high the armrests are, which it does have armrests, my last desk chair didn't have that one. You can adjust the height, obviously, lots of chairs can do that. You can adjust how far you lean back, how far you lean forward, how much it allows you to do that. It's just how your back support, you can adjust it all. Um, and it's really nice, and I really like it. So my brother got the same chair, and my parents are like, you want it? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so... First, my dad got it, actually, and then my grandpa, and now we've got it, too. My dad got it a couple of years ago, but, yeah, we got the chairs, and it's, you know, maybe next next, next video, I'll put a picture of the chair. Then I guarantee some people will recognize it. It's a pretty, like, popular chair. Um, like, I'm pretty sure I've seen a YouTuber that I like watching have a white version. Mine's black, so it doesn't really go in my room, but I'm willing to give that up for this chair. Um... I'm gonna think more about my day. Uh, yeah, so I went to Borders um, in the mall. It was about a 20 minute walk there and 20 minute walk back. Maybe a little more because I was holding the stuff. <sighs> um, so yeah, I've been doing these every night for about almost four weeks, I think. Um, I start, it started with biking and it started with around four or five kilometers of biking every night. For about half an hour and now it's gone 45 minutes um eight and a half kilometers i even did 10 the other day um and occasional walks as well so that's been really really good um i need routine that if i when i when i start working out i've done it before if i have a routine i will stick to it and i will enjoy it because i actually really like working out it's weird but i really like it um, I actually really have fun doing it, and I just, but as soon as that routine breaks, it's so hard to start again, um, but yeah, I think, I think I'm good, um, yeah, it, it seems fine, I'm good, I think I'll continue these, now that I know I can go on by my own, it's so much easier to keep that routine. I genuinely enjoy biking, and since I'm doing it at night, the weather can't get to me because yes, I do live in a very hot place. Um, I found this video tonight, today, of my little brother, and it, and I watched it like seven times. It was so cute. The little guy's gonna turn six this week. I mean, this month, um, in two weeks, less than two weeks. It's so crazy. Like, he's gonna turn six years old. And I saw this video of him, and man, I miss the cute him. It's just, like, so unfair. He's so big now. And, like, it's so different. Now he's, like, he generally acts, like, big and, like, strong and annoyed all the time. And, like, like a person, because he's pretty smart. And he has these, like, smart thoughts and stuff. I'm sorry, I watch my own videos. I'm like, he's, he's so cute. Today we actually played the game in the car. Um... It's like a word association game that I play with my friends at school that I introduced to him and my mom because he likes playing these types of games in the car. Sometimes he plays Guess the Animal, which is also fun, where basically he just like, he says a bunch of facts about the animal, you ask him a bunch of questions, you're like, oh, does it, what color is it, blah, 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 or like, is it black, and you say yes or no, and like, it keeps going like that. Sorry, I'm talking really fast. Um, but yeah, and so we were talking, doing, so normally we do that game, but I'm sick of that game, to be honest, so I, I introduced him to a new game, which is like a word association game. So you say, for example, school subject english language mandarin uh china technology 
But, you know, you keep going like that. I just did that off the top of my head. That was pretty good. And the first couple times we played, he needed me to tell him every word, which is fine because he's like five. But today, I don't know, he just popped out of nowhere and he was just like, he, he was actually really good at it. I think he's, we eventually got to candy and then I went chocolate and he goes dairy. And me and my mom were like, what the heck? Uh, he knows what dairy is? And I was like, okay, um, milk. And he goes cow. And I went cheese, and he goes lactose intolerant. Man, he's five years old, and it was like, and me and my mom were like, whoa! We were like super impressed because like he knows what lactose intolerance is, and we were like super weirded out. And we played again, and he kept going on about chemicals and college, and we're like, you know what that stuff is? Like it was weird, but it was so cute, and I was like fist bumping him every few minutes because he would say something good. Um, and I swear, I played with him, I introduced this game less than a week ago, and he could barely do it. Literally, I had to tell him, like, every second word, and he took, like, a while for every answer. But now he's pulling out these words like lactose intolerance, and dairy, and chemicals, and the, the kid's five. It's weird. He plays as well as I do. And he's, like, fast as well. He picked it up super fast. But, yeah, it was actually really fun this morning then. Um... And I think that I've talked for too, for too long, so I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Um, tell me about your day in the comments, and I'd love to read about it. Uh, that's what I like to do, ask questions and stuff. So tell me about your day. Uh, pretty simple. I, or tell you about a favorite memory. Anything, honestly. Um, I look forward to reading your stories and your days, and I, I hope to see you tomorrow. Um, thanks so much for viewing the video. It means a lot. Bye.